Hello everybody, my name is Rodgon. I'm an artist, a teacher, a designer, a mentor, and as you guys can see, we are sketching pandas. Now, there was a little challenge that I wanted to do for myself. And that challenge was to learn how to draw red pandas really cute. The reason being, I have a nice little original character that you will be seeing right in the middle of the screen right there that I call Archie. Archie is a combination of a red panda and raccoon. But I wanted to do the cuteness that came along with the red panda and actually apply that to my actual character design. So I went and I watched red panda movies. I went and did some research on the things that I really, 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 really wanted to learn about. And after watching a bunch of Pinterest videos and uh, having a cemented idea of what it was like in its, my head, I decided that I was going to tackle it by just force making uh, designs until it clicked. So the first, th is, these were split into three sessions. These sessions were really, really fun because I had no expectations of what I wanted to get out of the actual exercise. I knew that I wanted to draw a little bit better and maybe create some really cute designs, but I never really knew it was gonna be so fun as it actually came out being. So little red pandas are essentially little potatoes and little potatoes with a little tiny markings here and there that actually make them look like red pandas. One, oh, you also see that in the middle, we always get deviated by lessons. So we always end up teaching things as is, regardless of whenever we are drawing anything else, because I can't help myself. And, you know, so you'll eventually see little lessons of perspective or how to draw bodies and stuff like that. These guys are essentially little bean bags, and they are little bean bags that have little big ears on them that cover like a bunch of their head and then they have little poofy tails that have little spikies so they go poof all over the place so their very rough texture and skin or in the, their fur is shows predominantly in the actual back of the actual character so that is a very big prominent thing they don't have nice smooth tails like a lot of other animals like they have really rugged tails. Now, the other design element of them is that they don't really have a neck. So I had to make sure that I play around with the body type because whenever I would give them a lot of neck, it wouldn't look like the actual character. You would, are going to see one as well that I try to draw with uh, bigger eyes than it's supposed to. And it just not, didn't quite look right. It looked like a squirrel or it looked like a cat. So you will see that in a little bit. Not the one that you see on the right right now. That one's still pretty cute. And the eyes are relatively small. But when I try to make them big, you will see that it changes the look completely. Uh, I also wanted to play with the idea of making them not necessarily in that same style, but playing a little bit more with an animated look, as you will see in the middle, and trying to give a little bit of a story. As the session started getting more involved, I started drawing more and more detailed illustrations, even in those little tiny segments that I was giving myself. Ah, oh, there you go. You'll see on the, uh, on the left, you'll see that I'm drawing one with really big eyes. And it ends up looking more like a chipmunk or like a little flying squirrel or something. But the moment that we draw the eyes really small, for example, on, on the other ones, you'll see that it actually looks like a red panda. I do believe that I go back and change it, so we will have to go back and see that in a second. Well, we ended up deviating into another lesson <laughs> and showing you guys how to use a triangle to be able to find every aspect of the face it is uh, something really fun and something that I would wish that everybody could actually visualize in their hand. Um, anyways, going back to pandas. Adding motion to the designs is a really, really, really important factor in these things. Since they're such simple characters, so simple to design, the elements of the, um, the way that you make them come alive has to be through the way that they move. 
and that involves like in the middle giving perspective making things to scale making sure that the movement is there making sure that the lines flow nicely making sure that it's nice and clean design and it's also a really red panda so it's probably going to be one of those really 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 happy characters that just never really have a bad thing right even when they're having a bad time you're going to see them having like really cute scenarios so as you can see we are narrowing down into the last ones on the right so that video is going to cut out in a second and then it's going to narrow down to the other two um, we aimed for a hundred red pandas and we actually accomplished it we after the 100 red pandas that we drew uh, we ended up actually understanding the figure the shape the way to make them come alive and even though it was a really simple character that alone is going to help me develop more uh, detailed characters later that's going to allow me to actually be able to draw more complex things once you master a simple one at the beginning stages so doing other cute illustrations like them in space or them uh, you know with little like you know like backpacks and like explorers or like a witch like the one that i'm doing in the middle all those are just props that get added onto the foundations that you developed from creating all those little tiny thumbnails of the pandas at first you are going to see that the first session is the one that you see on the left and the second session you'll see that i'm already having a lot more fun with the actual designs we're going into stereotyping perspective and like we're having story time with each one of the designs as opposed to the first ones that we drew that were more so based on just uh, trying to figure out what the character would look like ah. and then we start making them moving in action and then trying to do little things with it that push the envelope of what a character with that limited amount of range can do skateboarding I don't know maybe that'd be interesting so i try to test it out you guys mentioned it i try to replicate it on stream see what i would come out with and it came out actually pretty decent it was actually pretty fun and then i believe that we were counting and then we ended up changing the design of that one so that it would look like a red panda instead of a squirrel so as you guys can see the feature size is very important when it comes down to animals because there's so many animals that have similar traits that eventually you need to be able to distinguish between very small sections of these animals so we are getting close to the end of the video um, uh, we are going to be telling you guys a couple things so first i have a new course coming out for 21 draw very soon i'm building it right now and it's how to draw your own pet so that course is going to be really freaking cool and it's going to involve drawing a lot of cute animals a lot of cute thing adorables and i'm going to have to teach you guys how to do it in 21 steps 21 steps to drawing your pet uh, i'm also going to be working on an anatomy posing one which is going to be 21 steps to learning how to draw the human body and that is going to be something that I'm really excited about because we have been talking about anatomy all this time, right? We've been talking about anatomy nonstop over the last, what it seems like, a year. So we are going to be putting all those things into the test where I'm going to be putting all the little uh, tips and tricks that we have learned so far and then explain them in a nice, reasonable way that you guys will be able to lose to map out your body systems much 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 better so as you guys can see 100 red pandas was an awesome challenge it was really really fun to do and at the same time it was incredibly challenging because i couldn't mess up <laughs> i was trying my hardest not to mess up and not to have to uh cover up things with post-its 
So as this last little section, you'll see that I'm pushing the envelope more and more and more and more and trying to see what I can get away with until the moment that I make a mistake towards the top of the page. And that is when you will realize that I try to correct myself by drawing the right way of drawing that body part later. But we are getting close to the end of our video today, guys. Thank you so much for always being my sketching buddies. If you guys have not caught any of these streams on YouTube, uh, on TikTok, please go catch us on TikTok almost every day at 11 o'clock in the morning Pacific. And if you guys want to see any more videos, there's tons of videos here for you guys to watch. So please feel free, click on any of the videos that you see on the side. Feel free to learn as much as you can. There's tons of information here for you guys. And I will see you guys soon in another video with more information for you guys to enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Take care. See you in the next one.